This is going to be about um, making some destructible glass in uh, Unity using Blender. Um, this is just sort of a technique that I came up with uh, the other day for a game that I'm working on. So I thought it turned out well enough that I wanted to show you how it works. So I'm just going to open up uh, the project file that I've already created or the Blender file that I, that I already created. And then I'll kind of show you briefly uh, what I did. So these are all just little segments that um, are individual objects in Blender. Um, and I'll show you how I organize them here in a second. So just start off with a cube and uh, we're going to resize this to whatever size you want your window or your glass pane to be. So we'll make it skinny here on the Y axis. <clears throat> if I can figure out what buttons to push, there we go. Um, and then we'll stretch it up a little bit so that it's a little bit taller. So we're going to scale it on the Z. All right, so once you have it kind of where you want, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, loop, cut, and slice, or slide, sorry. Um, but you actually, you just want it right there in the middle. This is going to create the sections. Um, so what I did was I kind of compartmentalized this. So, so I've got kind of quadrants that will break away depending on where they get hit. So in mine, I think I actually had eight quadrants, but so we're just, just for quickness here, we're just going to do six and I don't think I'm even going to flesh out all of them. So what you have to do is separate out each uh, part of this into a, its own game object. And oh, I think I might have screwed up here. Hold on. I've got a Okay, so I think I've got everything figured out here. So uh, what I didn't do is I didn't check that little uh, box down there that uh, allows me to select vertices that are behind. So you just uh, select all four vertices of a section and hit P on your keyboard and choose selection. And that will separate that piece into its own game object. So you can see here how that they're just uh, fully separated from that original game object. So do that on all of your sections. So each one of those will be an individual object here in the Blender file. And once you have all of them kind of sectioned out, you should be able to kind of individually select each one of them. And what we're going to do is take each one and break it into even smaller pieces. And I'm calling these pieces shards. So we're going to bust this into shards. So we're going to loop cut slide to just create more definition here. Um, and I mean, you can go as fine as you want, but the more shards you have, the more cumbersome this kind of becomes. But uh, so then I'm just taking these vertices, make sure you select both the front and back vertice. And uh, oops, I hit G instead. Okay. So you just want to slide it along uh, either the Z or the X axis. Um, and then just kind of create a little bit of randomization to, to get those kind of sharp looking shards. And you're going to do this on every single one of your quadrants that you split out. <clears throat> so just kind of make it look nice and jaggedy so that when they break away, they kind of give the impress impression of being glass bits kind of breaking loose. So, all right, so you kind of get the point. So, so once you have all that done, what you need to do is actually break each of these shards into its own game object now. So you're going to do the same thing you did when you were separating the quadrants. You select all of the vertices of the shard. So each shard should have four vertices. And then hit P on your keyboard and choose selection. And that will break that shard out into its own game object. And it would help if you kind of keep things organized over on the right hand side there where, where everything is uh, situated in that menu. Um, or just, you know, rename things so that they make sense to you. But because uh, you want to keep these organized somewhat, otherwise you'll get lost pretty easily. 
But once you've got all of these shards broken out into their individual game objects, um, the window should be ready. So, so it's basically made up of a whole bunch of little shard individual uh, models. So now that we're done, uh, you know, I'm not going to show you going through all that. So let's move over to my finished window so we can see kind of how I did it. Uh, just just kind of make it as random as you can because in the end you just you don't want it to look like uh, this was just there's any straight lines anywhere or anything like that so uh, be as random as you can and when you're finished with that you'll you'll save it into your uh, unity asset folder and it should be available so over here I've got a project file already started with my glass import.